Deneen, you've got some tips for young women, is that right? I do, and I'm so glad that you brought this up. Yeah. Look, it's real important that you never let them take you to the second crime scene. Your chances of getting out alive go down exponentially if you let them get you in the car or to the second crime scene. So it's real important that people realize that not only do you need to try your hardest to get away, but you need to try and leave your DNA or the assailant's DNA somewhere. People always think you should go for the groin. Go for the nostrils. Stick your fingers up the nostrils. Not only does that draw blood, but it hurts. And wow. it gets DNA under your fingernails. How about the eyeballs? Fight. The eyeballs, the nostrils, the little small of the neck right here. People think, you know, just kick him in the, in the groin. Forget about that right now. We need to do things that are a little bit more sensitive. Eyes, nostrils, the starfish, something that you tell your kids. If you extend your arms and legs tightly as, as hard as you can, like a starfish motion, it's very hard to get you into a car. I tried it with my own child, and I couldn't get her in the trunk. <laughs> wow. People don't want to deal with you when they have to fight you that much. If Just you've got curious, to roll under Deneen, the car, were, you, were you showing her how to do this? I was Is showing her how to do okay, it. I was showing it. her how to get away. And it's hard to get people into a car when their arms and legs are completely extended and you're stiff as a board. Got Those it. Those are very strong good, muscles. Good so advice. Lots yeah. of tactics. All right, Jenna, let me ask you about this guy. Do you think he had been stalking this woman, or she just was in the wrong place at the wrong time and he acted impulsively? You know what, I think this is an impulsive and random act of violence. Yeah. This guy doesn't seem like he's calculated or smart enough, to be honest, um, to have pulled this off. This guy is somebody who just doesn't have any consideration for the rights, safety, or comfort of women, and obviously derives some pleasure from inflicting pain onto other women. And it yes. could be obviously like an issue of control or manipulation. I mean, this is just a sick guy. Yeah, and Karamo, you, you get what I was getting at with our, our, our lovely defense attorneys in the last block. It's that they, how can you, how can you defend the fact that this guy gets back on the street. Yeah, wow. that's that's one of the worst things ever to know that this man who is completely despicable and has a sincere appetite for destruction is now back on the street after seeing what he's done. But I want to go back to what Denine said about the tips. I always question and would love to get some feedback on that of if you do do that to an assailant and you do not get away, don't you risk the chance of escalating this man and making him more upset? Or, or if so they if, have a weapon, would the weapon they, come out then? Yeah, the weapon comes out. So yeah. what are some other tips or something that we can do? Because my just tips would be for a young woman to see this video to know at nighttime do not travel alone to make sure that you have somebody that's with you make sure that you have you know some type of like pepper spray or something right. yeah. that and don't something try to want? reason with them yeah, yeah. no right <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course it's best to not be in that situation at all and to put yourself in well-lit areas and walking yeah. not alone and not at night. But if you find yourself in that situation, you've got to leave some evidence. You've got, if you have to release your bowels and bladder, uh, and bladder, whatever it takes to leave evidence about what happened to you, get whatever bite marks, whatever you could get in your teeth, DNA from this person's arms or mm -hmm. hands, whatever it takes to leave some type of a story for the authorities right. about what happened yes. and who might have done it.